Baltimore Tigers. Tigers have been on a roll, beating several ranked teams, and tonight they're in a position to win a district championship. But to win it, they have to go through top-ranked Lott and Mac, and that's no easy task. No, it's not. Number one in the state, Jeremy Thomas, joins us live out of Noble Stadium with more on this game tonight. Jeremy. Yeah, guys, games like this one here tonight are what you dream of as a kid coming into every season. Every team has that goal of trying to win a district title, and the Ardmore Tigers had a chance to do just that here tonight, but they had to get past the top-ranked team in the state in Class 5A, Lawton MacArthur. This one's for district. Number three, Ardmore hosting number one, Lawton MacArthur. Defensive battle in the first, but the action picks up in the second. Anthony Kimmons finds it wide open. Jordan Roberts, who turns on the Jets, and he's into the end zone easily. That puts the Tigers on top, but Lawton MacArthur would answer. Ensuing drive in the red zone, running back Teddy Thomas gets the handoff, finds space, and he's in. Tie game. Later in the second for Ardmore, Kimmons hands off to fullback Chance Scurry. The O-line departs the seas for him, and he does the rest. The big man taking it 66 six yards for the score and that fires up coach newbie this would too third quarter anthony love kimmons pass is intercepted by deandre scott scott sees a lane and he is gone for the pick six ardmore up 14 but the highlanders would come back after a touchdown and recovering a fumble on the ensuing kick love kipper finds ronnie kimball for the touchdown but ardmore fights back in the fourth it's roberts again around the corner and in for the score so just like in last year's game, Ardmore falls just a point short against Lawton Mack. They lose this one 28 to 27. After that touchdown, that last touchdown that we showed you, there was an extra point miss. Then Mack just drove down the field and scored the go ahead touchdown to take the lead and eventually win it. But all is not lost for the Tigers. They are in the playoffs. They have at least one home playoff game. And guys, I'm going to leave you with this last tidbit here. So the past two state champions have come out of this district in Class 5A, but it hasn't been the district champs. It's been the runner-ups. You go back to 2014, Ardmore won district, but Lawton Mack wins state. 2015, Lawton Mack wins district, but Altus wins state. And then here we are in 2016, Lawton Mack wins district. We'll see what happens to Ardmore as they move forward, guys. All right, Jeremy, thanks a lot. I like the way he thinks on that because that, that's, a, that's a good statistic he threw out there. Just because you win district doesn't mean anything once you get in the tournament. Got to like those little tidbits. I like that. Yeah. Two years in a row, tough loss for Ardmore, though. Two years in a row to fall by one point, right. and it was both in the fourth quarter. I was at that game last year, and Lawton Max scored late in the fourth to seal it. Uh, that's that's a tough way to go in the regular season, but hey, you still got playoffs, plenty to play for for the Tigers. And folks, again, that was the number one team in the state of Oklahoma. Ardmore lost to him by one point on a miss extra point, and then Lot and Matt goes down and converses. That tells you how close they are to knocking that door down.